So, welcome to 100% LCFC TV tonight. We've got Dan the Statman with us. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. You all right? Good, Dan. There's only one stat from uh, Saturday's game against Norwich we need to know. That's 1-0, oh, isn't it? <laughs> Just thinking that. We rode our luck, didn't we? Um, we show <laughs> luckily getting us the 89th minute goal. Um, but it wasn't the best performance. We didn't have a shot until the 58th minute, um, a shot on target which wasn't great. Um, and then we only had the second shot on target, which was actually Ujoa's goal. That was only the second shot on target? Yeah. So, it's not not a great game um, by no, all standards. No, but... When we saw that goal, I sit at the opposite end in the family stand, and it looked yes. like a bit of a scrappy goal, but when I've watched it back on TV, it was actually a much better goal than we first first realised. It was a superb cross by Albrighton, wasn't it? It was. It was a very, very good cross. And the telling touch was from Vardy, who took it away <laughs> from the, the right back. And uh, it's Vardy the assist, don't they, for that one? Yeah, he did. He did. Um, if he had touched it, it wouldn't have got to Ujara, I don't think, would no, it? No, he'd been cleared by the defender, so it was a nice little touch from Vardy. So give him credit where credit's due. Um, but no, um, he, that's the second goal out of three goals this season Ujara has come off the bench and scored. Um, so he's kind of a super sub, you could say. Um, and that's the 14th game in a row now that Norwich haven't kept an away clean sheet. So we were due to score. They were a bit unlucky, Norwich. I thought they put a good performance in. And, and I'll say they came and did a tactic, which was... They didn't park the bus, but they came and... We perhaps had too much possession for once and, and didn't quite... Not so effective with it. Well, they had a few chances, didn't they? Cameron Jerome's header from 12 yards that really should have gone in. Um, and, and Nathan Redmond hit the 25-yard thunderbolt that everyone in the ground thought had gone in. Yeah. So they had the chances, they didn't take them. And like in any game, don't take your chances, you get punished. And luckily, we, we came out with the three points. The main stats all I know is he wears a number 23 shirt. He cost a fortune, <laughs> but we don't care because that was three massive, massive points. It was. Uh, it's tomorrow night, is West Brom. Yes. Any it West is. Brom stats? I have indeed, yeah. Um, we haven't beaten West Brom at home in the last six games. And the last time we beat them was in 1994 at home. So it's not great omens. 1994, that's 20... Oh, crikey. 21 was, years ago. 22 yeah, years ago. 20, 22, going on 23 years ago, yes. So that's okay. uh, not a long time. We've only scored four goals in the six games as well. <laughs> So, well, I think I think this is a season we're changing everything, isn't it? Yeah, I think I think leading into this, obviously winning three two at their place earlier on this season, um, where Vardy was outstanding. Fingers yeah. crossed you can do it again. But defensively, West Brom are very solid, um, and overall they've beaten us fifteen times um, head to head, and we've won thirteen and drew eight. So it's it's quite a close match up, you could say, but. The omens are on West Brom to come and get something from the game, considering we hadn't, haven't beaten them at home since '94. I watched their game at the weekend against um, Palace, and uh, to be fair, Berahino, they looked fantastic um, going forward, West Brom, and they got that three-goal lead. And, yes. and and then, obviously, it was like a house of cards. It all came to bits. They looked a bag of nerves once they'd let one in. But they really did. Very unlucky. They look really comfortable at 3-0. Um, and we were saying that Alan Pardew's got to do something great for, for Palace. And obviously they came back and, and won the second half 2-0. So fingers crossed, you know, if we get the first goal, fingers crossed the same thing happens and we go on to win 2 or 3-0. But no game's easy in the Premier League, as we all know. And uh, it's going to be an interesting game, nevertheless. Yeah, another massive game. Again, if, if we were to pick up three points tomorrow against West Brom, you know, Watford away on Saturday. I know we'll perhaps do another video before then, look at that yeah. in more detail. But... There's, there's a chance of picking up a point or maybe three at Watford and it, it could just have been a fantastic seven days for us. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Obviously, with Kante being out for these next two games with a hamstring, um, Andy King comes straight back into the side for tomorrow. Yeah. So that's going to be an interesting how King and Drinkwater get on in the centre there. But we should be fine and uh, hopefully we should be picking up six points this week and next time we do a video, we'll still be happy men. So thanks for joining us, Dan. You're going to bring us stats after the uh, West Brom game? Yep, 100%. And looking forward to uh, Watford on Saturday. Yeah, it should be a really, really good game. Keep my it's eye on it. Fantastic time to be a Leicester fan. Thanks, Dan. Dan the Snapman for joining us on 100% LCFC TV. Thanks, Dan. Catch you no soon. Worries. Thank you. Cheers. See you.